I'm going to read you some of the research on the scientific side. And this is also why I'm doing earthquake, for, earthquake forecasting now. It is often stated that in order for an earthquake forecast to be valid, it must define three elements. One, the date and time. Two, the location. And three, the magnitude. We believe that this requirement is unrealistic for the same reason that the weather forecast is allowed to say that even on the most shiny days there is about a 0 to 10 percent or 30 to 40 percent precipitation probability without specifying the precise location. This has been valid science practice for decades. Our focus is on earthquakes with approximately and larger, because earthquakes in this category tend to occur more often when planets and the moon reach specific sp positions in the solar system. This relationship with planetary and lunar positions explains the usual clustering of larger earthquakes in time. A first example that set off our reaches is 20, the 23rd of June 2014 when six strong to major tremors occurred within hours in the South and North Pacific, at, at a time when three planetary conjunctions converged with critical lunar geometry. In addition to the seismic activity, a meteor tsunami occurred from the 23rd to 27th June in 2014 in the Mediterranean that propagated from west to east due to high atmospheric forcing. While statistics say something about the average occurrence over long periods of time, they do not say anything about the actual occurrence in real time. If, for example, statistics say that a magnitude earthquake occurs every 2.7 days, it does not mean that this is what usually happens. In extreme cases there can be 20 or even 25 days with six earthquakes. Likewise the average can go up to less than two days over a period of several weeks. In addition there is a big difference between magnitude 6.0 and 6.9, the latter of which occurs much less frequently. The same applies to magnitude 7 earthquakes. While on average they occur every 20 to 24 days, in reality we sometimes see two or three within two weeks, while in the extreme cases there can be a drought of half a year or more, like in 2017, 2018 and 2019. <coughs> Some argue that earthquakes happen all the time, or that planetary conjunctions or alignments happen all the time. These kind of arguments are too general. One should ask what kind of earthquakes, like magnitude 4, 5 or 6, which are very different categories, both in strength and occurrence. Likewise, one should carefully study the occurrence and type of planetary conjunctions. Sometimes there are no conjunctions for more than a week or even two weeks. Sometimes there are a dozen conjunctions or more in a month, one month. Moreover, not all the conjunctions are the same and the electromagnetic influence greatly depends on the planets involved. A scientific argument often hears, heard is that planets have little influence as the distance between them is too great for the gravitational force to be of significance. While mathematics can be applied to prove that the gravitational force is indeed too weak, the logic behind this reason is flawed at the very root, because it does not explain why only the gravitational force between the planets should be considered. After all, the four fun fundamental forces currently 
recognizing nature. Gravity is the weakest and dominated by the electromagnetic force. In the 1940s, 50s and 60s, RCA's <coughs> radio engineer John H. Nelson proved through observation of shortwave radio communication that planetary positions in the solar system greatly affect Earth's atmosphere. Of nearly 1,500 atmospheric condition forecasts that he made in 1967, he had an accuracy rate of 90%. His forecast methods, while seemingly forgotten, have not been refuted to date. And this is what the angels asked me to do, so that's why I'm doing Whenever, I, at least when I have internet, that I'm constantly doing daily earthquake uploads, started, documented and saved on YouTube and on Instagram as well. So we have a basis and then we can look at the planets. I love you all. <laughs>